Hello guys and welcome to this introduction on files. Over the next couple videos we're going to look at reading and writing files. So file permissions. File modes specify the permissions for files. Essentially they specify who is allowed to read, write, and or execute the file. Modes are stored as three digit octal values, which is base eight in case you didn't know. So as you can see if we have the uh, octal value for zero that means you can't read, write, or execute the file. But if we have the octal value for 1, that means you can just execute it. If we have the octal value for 2, that means you can just write to it. If we have the octal value for 4, that means you can just read to it. Now, if you want to combine these, you just add them together. So if I want, um, if I want to be able to read and write to it, I take 2, and then I take 4, and I add them together, and I get 6. And as you can see, that's for reading and writing. So file permissions in Linux are set with four octal values. The least three significant octal values are for the file owner's permissions, the group's permissions, and the other's permissions, those outside the group and not the file owner. The most significant octal value is reserved for special permissions. Usually we don't use these. So as you can see, if this, this would be the um, least significant octal. Um, if it's uh, 1, that means you can execute. If it's 2, that means you can write. If it's 4, that means you can read. You know, if it's 2 plus 4, if it's 6, that means you can uh, write and read. And see, then the uh, next uh, value is for the group permissions, and the next for the owner permissions. And then this one is the uh, special. So this has, like, 1 is for setting the sticky bit. 2 is set GID, 4 is set UID. I'm not going to go into these, but uh, you can look these up if you want, but usually we just use 0 for this most significant um, value, since you usually don't need these. So if we were to create a file that we wanted the file owner to be able to read and write, and the group and others to be able to only read it, what four digit values would that be? So, as you can see, I highlighted what I said, so if we just want the owner, or if we want the owner to be able to read and write it, then we would do 2 and 4 right here, and then if we wanted the group and other to be able to read it, we would do uh, 4 and 4 right here. And so, we would get 4 values, 0, 2 plus 4, 4 and 4, which would give us the uh, octal value of 0, 6, 4, 4. The underscore A just means it's, um base 8. It's an octal value. So the number is 0644. So recall the table of system calls from the second tutorial. Um, so we're, the, the reason in that tutorial I listed these top four system calls and then just put dot 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 on the last one because the top four are some of the most important and some of the most basic ones we'll be using. So sysread and syswrite, this is what we use, remember, to display text on the screen and to get user input. Um, these can also be used to read from files and write to a file by acquiring the file descriptor from a given file. Sysopen is what we use to acquire file descriptors, and sysclose is what we use when a file is no longer in use. 